ان الذين امنوا والذين هادوا والصابئين والنصارى والمجوس والذين اشركوا now these were the groups of the people present at the time of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam verily those who have come to believe they are the mu'minin والذين هادوا and those who have become jews were sabeen and the sabians were nasara and the christians were majusa and the magians were الذين اشركوا and those who are associating false gods with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ان الله يفصل بينهم يوم القيامه الله will judge between them on the day of judgment who was correct how much correct how much wrong all these things will be made clear and manifest on the day of judgment ان الله على كل شيء شهيد verily allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the witness over everything now is coming an ayah of sajda alam tara anna allah yasjudu lahu man fi samawati wa man fi al ard don't you see that for allah prostrate everything every one who is in the heavens and who is in the earth was shams even the sun wal qamar and the moon wan nujum and the stars wal jibalo and the mountains wa shajaro and the trees wa dawabbo and the animals and cattle wa kaseerum min an nas and many of the human beings also among the human beings there is a division some are prostrating before allah some are not some are rebellious they are in revolt against allah but all the other universe is obedient to allah subhanahu wa taala this whole universe is obeying his laws so as if they are prostrating before the lord except for some people who refuse to do it wa kaseerun haqq alayhi dhazab and there are many among these human beings on whom the chastisement has been justified now it's new for them wa may yuhin allah fama lahu min mukrim and whomsoever allah disgraces nobody can give him any honor in allah yafalu ma yasha verily allah does whatever his he intends to do bismillah awwalahu wa akhira hazan qasman ikhtasamu fi rabbihim these are the two opposing groups who are disputing about their lord one are the believers others are the believers falladina kafaru as for them who have rejected the call of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam qutiat lahum siyabum min narin for them garments will be cut off from the fire cut out from the fire yusabu min fawqi ruusi min hamim and boiling water will be poured over their heads yusharu bihim afi butunihim wal julud and with this water everything will melt what is in their stomachs in their bellies and also their skins they will be burnt wa lahum maqam min hadid and for them there will be hammers of iron beating them kullama aradu an yakhruju minha whenever they will like to get out of it out of the hell uidu fiha they will again be restored to it waduqu azab al hariq and it will be said now taste this chastisement of burning inna allaha yudkhilul ladina amanu now on the contrast khasman two groups who are opposing each other that is going to be the end of the first who are the disbelievers and now what will be the what will be the condition of the believers in allah yudkhilu allazina amanu wa amilus salihat verily allah will admit and make enter those who believe and who have done good deeds jannatin gardens tadbi min tahti al anhar under which there will be rivers flowing yuhallauna fiha min asabira min zahabin wa lu'luwa and they will be adorned therein with the bracelets of gold and with pearls wa libasuhum fiha harir and their garments would be from the silk wa hudu ila tayyib min al qaul and they had been guided to the best and goodly goodly speech in this world also decent wa hudu ila sirat al hamid and they had been guided in this world to the path of the one who is praiseworthy that is allah subhanahu wa taala inna ladina kafaru wa yasudduna an sabilillah verily those who disbelieve and they are preventing people 
فرام دی وے آف اللہ سبحانہ و تعالیٰ وٹ ور دس کفار آف قریش مکہ وٹ دا ڈوئنگ ناٹ اونلی دیٹ دے ور ناٹ ایکسیپٹنگ دی کال آف محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم دے ور پریونٹنگ ادرس آلسو ڈونٹ ڈونٹ ایکسیپٹ محمد ڈونٹ گو اینڈ ہیو اینڈ بلیو بلیو ان ہم ان لذین کفر و یسطون عن سب اللہ و المسجد الحرام اینڈ دے آر اسٹاپنگ دی اینڈ بارنگ دی مسلمس فرام دی دی سیکرٹ ماسک آلسو دے ڈونٹ want that the Muslims come and pray in the Masjid al-Haram in near Kaaba. They don't allow. Although they are the best rightful, they are the real followers of Ibrahim and Ismail alayhi wa but they are barred from it. So those people who prevent them from worshipping in the sacred mosque, allazi ja'alnahu li nasi sawaan, which we have declared equal for the al-aqib of fihim al Those who dwell there, reside there in Mecca, and those strangers who come from outside, both have equal rights here. And this you can see today also, when you go for Umrah and Hajj, you know, all people coming from all the corners of the world, having the same rights. If some, you know, African, black African goes and sits in the first row, nobody can say to him, go, go back. I am from Mecca, I am a Makki, I live here, this is my right. No, no. The rights for all Muslims, all believers, are absolutely equal. They are treated at par. And this is what Quran is saying. Eh? We have declared this sacred mosque of ours as equal for all, whether they live there, dwell there, or they come from outside and strangers. And whosoever wants to make a twist in this mosque, zulmin. wrongly, unjustly, we shall make him taste a very painful chastisement.